Shalom. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halang La Alahayana with Yehawa Bahashim, Yehawa Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yehawa Bahashim Yehawa Shai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled. Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled The So Called Blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians are Shemitic. Right? You know, and of course, this is dealing with the, uh, the present controversy, if you will, taking place dealing with uh, Kyrie Irving and uh, Kanye West, or Ye West, or. You know, Kanye, I think he changed his name or something. But, uh, <clears throat> right, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indian, Indians, and similarly Indians are Shemitic, right? Because the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, and similarly Indians are the Israelites, which the Israelites come from the line of Shem. And I have this picture, and, um, I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate, but I know for as far as the part that I'm focusing on, you know, it's, it's uh, accurate if I'm not mistaken, or I believe it is rather, but we're going to, you know, we're going to check it. So, you, you know, Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, right? Which those are three lines. So you have Shemites. Jeff, uh, where you have Shemitic, Hemetic, Japhetic, right? So you got the Hamites, the Shemites, and the Japhites, or J it might be Japhethites, you know, right? So, so you see the line, or you see, uh, the family of Ham, if you will. So you got Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. And then you see, and then you have Japheth. You see Gomer, Magog, Madai, or Madai, uh, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, Tyrus, Elam, and then for Shem, you see Elam, Ashar, Faxad, Lud, Aram. Right? So, you see it says Genesis 10 through 36, so let's go there. <laughs> right? So, once again, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, and similarly Indians are Shemitic. So, to say that, you know, Kanye, which is the so-called black man, which means he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. To say that he's anti-Semitic would mean that he's anti-himself. Which makes no goddamn sense. So that's why when you see that Kyrie said, I think he said, how can I be uh, anti-Semitic? Knowing the truth regarding where I came from. Because he knows he comes from the line of Shem. You know? Right? So uh, Genesis 10. Right? And you small hats, you're not the Israelites, man. You're fucking heathen. Right? You're the Dukes of Edom. Right? You're Edomites from the tribe of Amalek. You see? You're heathen. You're devils. You're not Israelites, man. You're not the chosen of the Lord. You're heathens. You're devils once again, man. And you should know what I'm who I'm talking about when I say small hats. Matter of fact. This is a uh, revelation, the second chapter in the ninth verse. And it reads, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Right? Because we contain the uh, the birthright. 
It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. That's talking about you small hats. You say you're the people, but you're not the people. But rather, you're the synagogue of Satan, man. And I hope that fucking irks your spirit. <laughs> right, Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So you devils are going to come and worship before the true Israelites' feet which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and similarly Indians, man. And to know that I have loved thee, see? This is beautiful. <laughs> Come on, man. Small hats. You damn small hats. Right, okay, that's uploaded. Okay, we close that. All right, you know. So, uh, you know, once again. So let's go back to uh, Genesis, the 10th chapter, right? Here we go. So uh, this is Genesis, Genesis 10 and 1. It says, now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons of born after the flood and you see right here noah then you see the sons of noah shem japheth ham <laughs> right verse two verse two the sons of japheth gomer and magog and madai and javan and tubal and meshach and tyrus right and when you look at it it says gomer magog madai javan tubal meshach tyrus so i believe this is pretty accurate uh, I probably should have checked it before bringing it out. So it's a lot here for that, but by the looks of it, it's accurate, man. You know. And you see it says, uh, as far as the sons of Terah, right, you have Haran, Nahor, and Abram, uh, Abraham, which is accurate, right? And then Abraham, and you see, you see in the red, too. Because the Lord is dealing with the Israelites who is coming from the line of Shem. Right? As a matter of fact, I have a breakdown on Genesis, the 10th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? You know what? Let's do this. Shit. Drop the phone. Salakia. So let me pull this up. Hold tight. Let me see. So, bear with me. Pulling it up right now. Bear with me. Right, so we're on, let's see, Genesis 10. Yep, Genesis chapter 10. All right. Hold tight. Bear with me. Yep, this is it. Got the breakdown. Okay. So Genesis 1 and uh, Genesis 10 and 1, it says, Now these are the generations of the sum of no sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. Verse 2, The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Ripah, and Togarma. Let's check that. Right, so... uh. Right, Gomer, Ashkenaz, Ripa, and Tergoma. Accurate, see? 
And that's dealing with Japheth. Yep. Uh, verse 4. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. Right? And you see for... Uh, What was that? The, and the sons of who? And the sons of Javon. Right? Yeah, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. Accurate. Right? Verse 5. By these were the owls of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families and their nations, and the sons of Ham. So then it goes into the sons of Ham. Right? Right, and the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Put, and Canaan. You see it here, Ham, Cush, Mizraim, Put, Canaan, as his sons. Right? Verse 7, and the sons of Cush, Sabah, and Havilah, and Sabtah, and Ra'amah, and Zabtekah. Right? So the sons of Cush, Sabah, Havilah, Sabtah. Right? Ra'ama and Sabteka and uh and Nimrod, right? And it says in the sons of Ramah, Shabbat and Dadan. So you see as the sons of Ramah or Ra'ama, Shabba and Dadan. So pretty accurate, you see. And I know I should have checked it before, Salakia. Yeah, forgive me for that. Right? So uh, let's keep reading. Verse 8, And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it was said, Wherefore it is said, Even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalna, or Kalneh, and the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Ashur, and builded Nineveh, and the city Rehoboth, and Kala, which Asher, is the son of uh, Shem, right? So verse 12, in Resan, but in Resin, between Nineveh and Kala, the same as a great city, and Mizraim begat Ladim, and Anamim, and Lahabim, and Naphtahim. So for Mizraim, you see Ladim, Anamim, Lahabim, right? Naphtahim, Pathrasim, right? And Pathrasim, and Kaslahim, see? Kaslahim, and then our Kaslahim came Philistim. And then uh, Kath Tarim. So it's accurate. Right? And Canaan begat Zidon, his firstborn, and Heth, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sidonite, and the Arvadite, and the Zamorite, and the Hamathite. And afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. Right? So for Canaan, right? Sidon and Heth. Right. Yeah, so let's keep reading. Now regarding verse 13, Mizraim are the so-called Egyptians. Right? Because the, the word uh the word Egyptians is Greek. Right? That was a Greek term which when the Greeks went over into that part of the world, they referred to Mizraim as Matazarium, rather as Egyptians. But the real, the real term is uh, Mizraim, which in the Hebrew is Matazarium, right? So uh, let's see. Verse 19, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and at Ma and Zabom, even unto Lasha. Right, regarding verse 19...
hold tight. Regarding verse 19, in Tyre and Sidon, you had Canaanites dwelling in that area at that time. Right, so these guys that went to bestiality and homosexuality, that came from the uh, Canaanites. Right. So uh, let's keep reading. Verse 20. These are the sons of Ham after their families, after their tongues in their countries and in their nations. Unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born. Right? The children of Shem. Listen up. Right? The children of Shem. Elam and Aser and Arphaxad and Lud and Aram. And you see it there on here? Accurate. Right? And the children of Aram, Uz and Hel and Gather and Mosh. Right? Now we go to Aram. Uz, Hul, Gather. Right? And Mosh. Right, and our facts had begot Salah, and Salah begot Eber. See that? You see our facts had Salah, and then Salah begot Eber. See that? And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of the the name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Jokdan. Now, regarding verse twenty one, the word Eber or Ibar is where you get the word Hebrew from right so the word i bar means hebrew and if you were to say i bar yum that's hebrews because the yum after a hebrew word makes it plural just like malak yum uh alahai yum right ak yum ak is brother ak yum brothers right so if i'm not mistaken the word i bar means hebrew Right, which uh, just because you're a Hebrew, that doesn't mean that you are the chosen of the Most High. In order to be of the chosen of the Most High, you have to be a Hebrew and you have to be an Israelite. Right, that's why in Philippians, the third chapter, Paul mentioned himself being a Hebrew of the Hebrews, meaning he was of the chosen of the Hebrews, which are the Israelites. Because you got to remember, Edomites are Hebrews, Ishmaelites are Hebrews, right, Moabites etc are hebrews but there's a certain people that the most high set up to be a cho to be the chosen which are the hebrew israelites which are the hebrew of the hebrews which you read in uh if i'm not mistaken philippians the third chapter right yeah because that's when paul mentioned himself being a hebrew of the hebrews let's get that matter of fact let's just do it this way Hebrew of the Hebrews. This is Philippians, the third chapter, and verse 5. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, which the tribe of Benjamin are the so called West Indians. In Hebrew of the Hebrews, meaning that he, he's of the chosen of the Hebrews, which are the Hebrew Israelites, as touching the law and uh, a Pharisee. See that? You see? Right, so uh, also our facts that was that line from Shemtar facts that was that line. You see? And you see that's why it's in the red. Shemtar facts that was that line that the Lord was dealing with. Right? So the other four sons the most I isn't dealing with. Right? Our facts that through Peleg is where that line kept going. And that's why you see the red. Right? Our facts add all the way to Peleg. So our facts add to Salah, to Eber, which Eber goes back to Ibar, which is where you get the word Hebrew. Uh, and then so 
our fax ad all the way to Peleg is where that line kept going. And also the word Peleg, which in the Hebrew is Pelag, means division. Because when he was born, that's when the Most High really divided all the nations, which you see when you read the 11th chapter. Right? Because that was during the time of the confounding of the, the languages. Right? So you see it, man. Right? So let me go back. Genesis 10. <clears throat> Hold on. So, uh, let's see, let's do this plague. Here we go, right here. Look at this. So, Genesis 11 and uh, 16, right? And Eber lived four and thirty years and begat plague, right? You see that here? Eber begat plague and, and joked on. Right, matter of fact, let me go back up. Right, so you see, and Peleg lived after, verse 19, and Peleg lived after he begat Ru 209 years and begat sons and daughters, and Ru lived two and thirty years and begat Sarug. You see that here, Peleg begat Ru, Ru begat Sarug, uh, and Sarug begat who? And Sarug lived 30 years and begat Nahor. You see that here? Sarug begat Nahor. And Nahor begat who? Verse 25. And Nahor lived after he begat Terah in 119 years and begat sons and daughters. You see it here. Sarug, uh, Nahor begat Terah. And Terah begat who? Haran, Nahor, and Abraham. And Terah lived seven, 70 years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. See that? And then you already know, Abram, right? To Abraham to Isaac, Isaac to Jacob. Because Isaac, well, the Lord wasn't dealing with Esau, you know? Which So the Lord ordained that whole particular situation where Esau sold his birthright, right? For some venison, if I'm not mistaken. Right? You see? See, so, and that's all from the line of Shem. So from the line of Shem, <coughs> you have the tribes of Israel, which the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians. <coughs> you know, so that's what I wanted to bring out. See, see, Abraham... Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, right? And you see Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, right? Gad, Asher, Dan, which Dan is no longer around as a tribe today, right? Uh, Joseph, Benjamin, which Joseph, uh, of course, you have Ephraim and Manasseh, right? which the tribe of Ephraim are the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manasseh are the so-called Cubans. So the Israelites come from the line of Shem, which once again, the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians. So that's the point. With that, Lord willing, you are edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Call Halim La Alahayan Awa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. 
salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shemi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Shalom DTA soon and stay sharp. Yahweh by Shemi Awashai, Baba Kasha, Ababa Ball.